Good day, everyone. My name is Nolan Tolosa. I am the project leader of this DOSD Pusher proposal under environment entitled Design, Construction, and Process Optimization of a Combined Physical Chemical Coagulation and Electrocoagulation System in Treating Complex Wastewater Contaminated with Heavy Metals, such as the Nickel, Copper, and Lead. The University of San Agustin is more than a leap service committed to research and development. In fact, it has created a five-year development plan of the ARISE 2020-25 under the Office of Research and Global Relations of the University. Its goal is to educate students, faculty, and community that universities serve about the importance of conducting quality research as Augustinians during this era of knowledge economy and COVID-19 pandemic. To, re to realize its goals and with its identified gaps, to date, there are already five research centers established as can be seen in the slide. A new list of list research center of the university in March 2022 is the Center for Advanced New Materials, Engineering, and Emerging Technologies that aims to become a leader in the Philippine countryside in the new materials, emerging technologies, and engineering. This is actually the home of the Smart Packaging Laboratory lead by Dr. Noel Ta Peter Tan, where nano-enabled plastics are developed. So, one of the primary concerns that needs further R&D is the demand for fresh water sources. Based on the ADB report on water supply and sanitation sector assessment, strategy, and roadmap on the searchable database of the World's Resources Institute, the Philippines has a total annual renewable water sources of 479 billion cubic meter from surface water and groundwater. Whereas on the projections of the NWRB, the estimated total availability of groundwater charge is 20,200 million cubic meters per year. So the fastest growing population and migration in urban areas in the Philippines, water pollution, wasteful and efficient use, continuous deforestation and salt intrusion are increasing and in one of the major challenges that the country is facing on water resources. So, why treat wastewater contaminated with heavy metals prior to discharge? So it is actually obvious that water pollution brought by heavy metals can be transferred to seafood, which will later on transfer to humans through consumption or directly transfer to humans due to the use of contaminated surface water that is uncontrollable. So thus, the use of combined physical chemical coagulation and electrocoagulation in treating complex wastewater contaminated with heavy metals will be a competitive way to ensure free from contamination of water prior to discharge. The combination of the two eliminates or lessens the disadvantage of both processes such that it improves the quality of wastewater being treated. So currently, there are no similar technologies utilized in the Philippines as potential technology used by the large manufacturing company and as was water treatment system. So once the technology will be successful, it will improve SMEs and large manufacturing companies' opportunities to grow, which reduces the cost of treatment of their liquid waste. It also has the ability to increase in usability on the proposed technology. This slide actually shows the objectives of the study and how it will work. 
So the overall objective of the proposed study is to design and construct a combined physical chemical coagulation and electrocoagulation system in treating the complex wastewater contaminated with heavy metals. The first objective is to determine the optimum process and condition of the combined process. Second is to apply this technology to with actual wastewater. And the third one in order to see and be able to see the aspect of the precipitated aggregates, we will characterize it with different materials characterization methods to understand the behavior and mechanism of the pollutant. The fourth objective, this will actually fall on the second year of the implementation, which includes the design of the compact system of the combined physical chemical and electrocoagulation process using the optimized parameter obtained on the first year study. And on the fifth objective, it is the creation and fabrication of prototype for actual application to the industry. Lastly, the conduct of cost-benefit analysis to see whether this technology has advantage compared to conventional process in terms of economics and is and this includes the development of operations and management manual of this prototype. So attain these three objectives these objectives rather results in different outputs publication of at least two in the main target of the is the main target of this project but this may increase depending on the quality and availability of the data generated for patent and intellectual property will anticipate two for the process design int intensification and the prototype of the technology. For the product, will be on the recovered metal products and technology prototype that promotes good quality effluent. On people services, it may increase involvement of faculty, students, and researchers. For places and partnership, the University of San Agustin can be the technology research hub for, for EcoSafe and may expand their services by establishing an additional facility. USA also will collaborate with other agencies, industries, and schools for the enhancement of the technology application. And for policy, the findings of this may be used by the regulating agencies to enhance intensified and comprehensive wastewater effluent standards in order to set a new tariff for effluent, improve wastewater discharges, and promoting effluent fit for use to avoid overexploitation of ground and surface water. This figure shows the roadmap of the research study for combined physical chemical coagulation and electrocoagulation system. The primary goal and intention of the technology roadmap is to further extend the use, implementation, and development of the combined physical chemical and electrocoagulation, and to propose specific actions which promotes its further implementation and application. The activities for the first year and second year are summarized in these slides and the following. So the target activi activity will be simultaneously with the cooperating agency and will be worked out from the first quarter to the, the third quarter, except for manuscript writing, which falls on the last two quarters. The second objectives will start on the second uh, quarter to fourth quarter and the same duration for the objective three. On objective four, which 
is the start of the second year of the project implementation. And this will start from the first and second quarter. Fifth objective will be initiated from the second quarter to the last quarter. And lastly, the same duration with the fifth objective, which is from the second quarter to fourth quarter. The total proposed budget for the first year of this project is 2,600,320.73, which is all dedicated for the personal services, uh, MOOE and EO. On the other hand, the University of San Agustin and ESHTI is committed to 37% and 14% respectively of the DOST the DOST funding to complement the total budget for personal services, MOOE, and equipment outlay for the total amount of 199, 1,999,344 and 727,058.40 respectively. So the Canment Research Center located at Blanco Hall of the university besides the College of Technology office and NMR is the um, uh, location, uh, uh, is the um, research uh, location of this project. This is actually about 40 square meters space to house the research activity of the engineering faculty. This laboratory is now ready for use. Thank you very much for your time and attention. I do hope that the USD Preserved will help us by investing with us through funding of our research in engineering and emerging technology research and development. Through the success of this project of the USA under the Canmint Research Center, we do hope that this will be a good start for more fruitful R&D endeavor of the university, just like what the previous research centers of the university has achieved.